Organisms don't exist on their own, but have complex relationships with other species in the habitat and the physical environment. Ecology is the branch of biology that studies these relationships and tries to make sense of them. So a practical thing you need to be able to do is to investigate population sizes. Now ecologists like to study and monitor ecosystems and part of this monitoring is looking at population sizes and also maybe how those populations are distributed within, eco in it, within an ecosystem. Now this can actually be more challenging than it sounds because obviously organisms move and change and it's quite a hard thing to do and ecosystems can be very, very big. For example, if I said to you, can you tell me how many daisies there are in a field, it would take you a very, very long time to count them all. And even then it wouldn't necessarily be that accurate. You may have counted the same one twice. And it's quite tricky. Therefore, scientists use different techniques. In this case, you use a sampling technique to get an estimation, which is gonna make the whole thing much quicker. So if you wanted to estimate the population size in, of let's say daisies in a couple of different fields, then you'd want to use a piece of apparatus called a quadrat. Now a quadrat is a square metal frame, usually one meter in length, but will vary dependently on where and what you are going to sample. Some quadrats are split into 100 smaller squares, which can make counting a bit easier, especially if you're doing percentage, because then you just say, well, 12 of the squares have got grass in, so that's 12% grass. So it can make it easier to count with those little squares as well. So let's say the, there is a task where you need to compare the population of daisies in two areas of your school playing fields. So how would you go about that? Well, this is the method I would use. Mark out a 10 meter by 10 meter area using some sort of large tape measures or some string in both uh, locations A and in B, uh, field A and in field B. Use a random number generator function on your calculator to choose coordinates along the tape measures. So this is a button on your calculator, you press random, it'll give you a, a random number. And that means that there's no bias involved. You're not picking which area you want to sample, you're letting the calculator choose your coordinates. So you pick, choose random number, go along on the x-axis to where that number is, and then do another random number and go up on the y-axis to where that is, and then that's where you're gonna place your quadrat. So you put your quadrat down at that point, and you count the number of days in the quadrat, and you record it in a table. And then you re repeat steps two to four to get nine further readings. You want at least 10 quadrats really. Then you calculate the mean number of daisies per quadrat for area A and for area B. So let's say in area A that I have got an average number of 1.7 but in uh, area B, location B, I've got an average of 12.22 daisies per quadrat. Now to get the total population in that location, then all I've got to do is multiply the mean by how many square meters there are in the area. So if it's 100 meters squared, then I just take that number and times it by 100. So it'd be 1.7 times 100 to get location A and 12.2 times 100 to, to get my estimate of the population in location B. You might also want to take some other data, probably some abiotic data, some physical environment data about each location. So then you could hypothesize why the populations are different in each of the two areas. You might take the, the soil salinity or pH. You might take a, te a temperature reading or some light readings while you're there.